Hey everybody and welcome to GlobalFishingReports.com. Today we're going to be trying to catch black tip sharks in the flats. Got him. Oh. oh yeah, baby. mullet and I got a shark cruising in on me. I think this is just a nurse shark but I'm gonna get ready to poke it just in case. Actually this is a little black tip. Just my net on a whim in a deep spot and I got a perfect amount of filters. That's a perfect number. About 20 of them. First two were definitely black tips. Now I got this one, but it's just a bond dead. I've gone through a whole a whole bucket of pilchards. Barracuda keeps stealing my bait. I hooked into two black tips. One of them cut my hook. There's a big shark in here though. I saw them twice. Actually I hooked them so just didn't get them all. Hey guys, I see a shark over here. I just tied a new rig. I got a wire. The only thing I can catch for bait is a needlefish. But the sharks were around, so I figured I might as well use what I got and try and see if it'll work. All right, guys, he's hooked. I'm gonna let him run with it. He's running with it. I think this is a little black tip I just hooked. All right, I'm gonna hook him up and see if he's hooked. Oh yeah, he's up then. I want to get to see what he is. He's out here now. I gotta get tension on him. Yeah, baby. He ate a needlefish too, guys. I did not think he was gonna eat a needlefish. Oh, it's a black tip. Black tip, baby! He's got huge teeth! He doesn't like me grabbing his gills. But check out this guy's teeth, man. You would not want that guy chomping on anything related to you. Alright guys, I got the hook out. Let me put him in the water so he can breathe real quick. Alright guys, I saw this shark the first time I was here. This little black tip, and I really wanted to catch him. And actually, I kept seeing sharks like this, and this means that one I saw this morning was actually a, a really nice sized black tip. So, I'm going to let this guy's go, and he should swim away. Hopefully he doesn't come from my toes. Oh, he's coming back. Just like you don't want him to. I'll just let him have a little breather here, and he's going to swim away. Oh! He's going to swim away good. See you later, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Oh, man. There's another black tip right there. And these needlefish work, guys. Needlefish for black tip. Who would have thought? Guys, that was awesome. That was my first black tip shark I ever caught in the flats like this. I hooked up with a couple of them earlier today and yesterday, but I didn't have the leader. So I'll show you guys how I tied that leader. 
All right, guys, here's how I hook that black tip. I just had a little float on there, and then I have 80 pound braid, which is excessive. And then I have a 50 pound leader, which is also excessive. And then I have a 65 pound piece of wire, which I tied mono to wire, and then I tied just the, I just twisted the wire around the hook there. And that's all it took. I'm gonna go try and catch a couple more black tip though because I can see him swimming in here right now. Oh, oh. did you see him steal that? So that's the problem with using a needle fish, guys. He got the back end of it. Tip. I got a piece of dead bait there just on the ground. See how he swoops in? Oh, he's good. He's got it. I'm gonna let him run with it. I got that black tip hooked right now, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna hook him up. Oh, can you believe that? He stole it. The dang thing stole a little teeny piece I had on there. Oh man. I think I hooked a barracuda. There's another good reason to be using wire. Barracuda. Hey guys, if you guys like that video, please subscribe.